Good morning, beautiful people. So, Sri Kal, Namaste, this is long. If you're watching the vlog for the very first time, welcome. My name is Amun. Today is Monday. It's a really nice day out, but it is wet. Got a bunch of packages in. I got some of the stuff from Rock Auto for my car, the Thunderbird. I'm kind of choked, though. I missed two of the packages. I was downstairs. I don't understand how I can't hear them knock or ring the doorbell. Mind you, I do have a recording studio. It is soundproof, but here's some packages that came in that I completely missed. And these are the ones that I need. These are the motor mounts um, that are really important. So I'm not sure what the, you know, when I'm gonna get these back. One I have to pick up tomorrow after one o'clock, which sucks. And then the second one, I'm gonna call them right now and find out uh, where the package is and see when they're gonna deliver it. Alrighty fam, so this was the headers for the Thunderbird, which have arrived. I called them and because I'm in downtown tomorrow, I can't get them to deliver it. Um, I, again, I don't know how I missed that. They got here at 8.17, I was home. So I don't know what happened there. But anyways, I uh, basically told them, just leave the headers at the uh, distribution center because they're open from Monday to Friday till eight o'clock. So I'll pick it up there tomorrow. But I do have to call them back just to make sure that they have it there in the spot. So that's good, at least I can grab that stuff and then I grab the other package tomorrow, drop everything off for them on Wednesday and then they got plenty to you know get the engine into the car. All right, fans, my lunch break and I'm gonna attempt to try to uh, open up the stereo here. I'm gonna see if I can get this out get all this apart and then put in my new head unit so let's try alrighty so I got a bit of a mess here got everything out that I need to do I'm just gonna go grab the head unit now and then pop it in and it should work a couple of loose wires there I gotta cut and tape up hopefully nothing will catch on fire you know what I mean alrighty fam I did it I got it installed there she is in all its glory absolutely fantastic I'll start it up and I'll uh, show you guys what's going on here. It's gonna boot up here in a second. There it goes. Then you'll see the VW screen. There it is. Already tested the Bluetooth on this. It's got a GPS. I put the GPS sensor up in here. Um, it comes with a USB connection and an external aux. I haven't actually um, wired that yet because you can actually get a kit where you can wire it and have it in here, which I'll order. And then I'm gonna have to pretty much like take apart this dash and stuff, fish it through, wire it in there, that's the plan. So I'm gonna order that later on today. But uh, yeah, like it's already found my phone. As you can see, I've already paired it up. I still have to get the car bus sensor attached to um, this unit so I can get all the stats and stuff, uh, which I had on my tablet, which is doable. I haven't done that yet, but it's cool, man. Like here, I'll go here to the band. I'm gonna start playing some radio. Right, I just have a couple of stations you know, program right now, Indian Station, 93.1. So yeah, I mean, so far I'm very thoroughly impressed with this thing. I mean, for whatever it was, 250 bucks, it's so worth it. Um, you can go in here, go to home. As I scroll, you can see some of the apps and stuff. I got Google Maps, email. I mean, who the hell is gonna check that? I mean, that's just dumb checking in the car. But I also got access to the Play Store, so I can download like YouTube and stuff on here and some other stuff like that. But here's a cool thing. See, it already found my vehicle from the car bus and there's some of the stats on it. This is kind of cool. I've opened my door. You see that? Door not closed. So it's good, man. I'm really happy with this. The nice thing about this, it also gives you some particulars on the car. Look, you know, the battery voltage, the trunk is open or not, you know, the brakes, the oil, and you know, here's some stats as well. This is a really, really cool unit. Really impressed with this. Like I said, I'm gonna be, uh, Really enjoying this one. Can't wait to start, you know, testing this out, driving it around, get my system installed, and you know, hopefully this will work out. All righty, bam. Gonna go uh, pick the girls up. Gonna drop Reese off the skating, and then uh, I'm gonna come home with uh, Selena. We're gonna go to mom and dad's today. You know what? So nice to have sound in the car finally. Love it. Um, yeah, anyways, I was saying, we're gonna go to mom's for dinners today. I think that's the plan. Uh, my sister's in town, so I'm gonna see the girls. I haven't seen them properly. I just, you know, walked in one day and just said hi, and I was so busy. So now I'll actually properly get to see them. So that's the plan for tonight. But uh, first things first, I'm gonna go grab the girls. All 
tidy fam. Um, just got the girls home, chilled out for a little bit. I had some changes I had to do tonight for work. Now we're gonna go over to uh, my mom's place. Uh, I'm gonna have sagna roti. So excited about that, man. I love sagna roti. Girls are just getting their shoes and stuff on. We're gonna head out there. We'll be there probably most of the evening. Like I said, I haven't seen my sister and her kids properly. Um, so, you know, hang out with them for a little bit. Come home, finish some work off. And then that's pretty much it, man. But I'm just glad I got one thing done. This stereo is absolutely kick ass. Just chilling, fam. Just finished my change for work. I'm just uh, on YouTube doing some research, trying to figure out the next sort of steps for the Thunderbird, looking for some more parts. I really got to figure out the power booster situation and the brakes. Um, there's a couple of people that do kits, but they're pretty expensive. So I'm trying to find the best bang for the buck, you know what I mean? The other problem too is delivery costs, like, you know, I'm paying in US dollars and then they ship it to me, so not only do I have to pay in US dollars, I get hit by the uh, currency exchange and then they charge me for delivery to Canada, which is like an extra whatever, and then I get charged duty on top of that, so it's not coming out cheap, man, but I gotta figure something out because, you know, the engine's out now and I might as well replace it. Maybe I'll get the booster and stuff now and then do the brake kit later, I'm not sure. I'll talk to the guys at the garage and find out, you know, from the mechanics what they want and what they suggest. I think they're gonna say get everything so it's easier for them to put everything together. And I get that, man, but it's just, I don't know, man, like it's just really dumb expensive. So we'll see, or I could just leave them, leave the drum brakes for now and do it later, but then, you know, how much is that gonna cost, how much headache that's gonna be, right? So it's a toss up. I really wanna do it now if I can, because they, and like I said, the engine's out. It's a lot easier for them to go in and get in there and take it all apart, put it back together again. So what I'm, what I'm leaning towards is actually just getting the booster and the slave now, and then, you know, get the rest of the brake kit later. Just locking up for the night, fam. Just gonna make sure everything's all shut. Doors are locked. Yes, it is. But now I always have to say to myself, um, you know, garage door shut or lock the front door because if I don't have that complex where I think I haven't locked anything, you know what I mean? I don't know if any of you guys ever go through that where you leave the house and you think you've locked the door but you're not sure if you think you shut the garage door and you're freaking out and there's some, been so many times where I've had to turn around and come back to check to see if I've actually done that. So, And then someone told me though, just say it out loud to yourself and then uh, you'll always remember. And that's a cool little trick that I always do. So fam's around 9.30, we're just gonna chill out. Gonna get the uh, hot milk going. Laptop central on the uh, kitchen table. I'm so stuffed from dinner, man. Like I said earlier, we had sagna roti at uh, mom and dad's, man. It was absolutely delicious. To top it all off, mom made me a massive cup of cha. Polished that, came home, was working because I had all those changes that to get done before tomorrow. So tomorrow is Tuesday. I will be heading into the office. So I'll be there for most of the day. Uh, around two, three o'clock. Then I gotta rush all the way back, grab the girls, get them fed, and I got the whole evening with them um, at their at the skating rink because I gotta you know watch them drop one off, then you know come back and take the other one. Um, tomorrow night, a buddy of mine, uh, DJ Hark, um, he's gonna come by hopefully to drop off some music that he's working on. Really excited about that. He wants me to help him out, make some records, and master some of them hopefully. Um, so looking forward to that. Um, on that side of things, man, business is picking up really, really well. Um, you know, I get inquiries like probably one a day right now about, you know, how much for my services and I've, you know, I've solidified some work, which is good and bad because I'm so busy with my main work, but, uh, you know, it's good. I want to get that going and hopefully I can transition over, you know what I mean? But we'll see. But I wanted to say if you're watching vlogs for the first time, you know, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to part of the family. If you want to see more vlogs just like this, please click on the on this guy. Of course, to my peeps. Be you, stay optimistic, enjoy the rest of your night. Here's a big high five from me to all of you.